Hello friends, welcome back to Dark Age of Camelot, emulated. So today we're playing on Freyad. Um, some things that I found out, if you watch the install video that we had to do afterwards, as you can see my annoying friend with the blue name is telling us we have to register. So we actually did have to register for a forum account and then we had to go into the forums and type in some stuff. And it's just going to scream at us until we do. So Apparently that's what's going to happen. So now we have a quest. So I have to leave the courtyard by doors in the north wall. See a tower besieged by invaders and we have to kill it. We did a combat bit where we uh, targeted these each by right clicking on them. And then we killed that sparring guard and we gained a level. So we are a Midgard hunter. And as you can see here, this is us. There's our experience bar. And there's the invader. And these aren't real invaders. And we do have to uh, be facing our attacker. This is actually quite different than I remember the game being. So there is a good bit of tutorial in it. And as you can see, our attacks are using quite a bit of endurance. We killed him. I don't think we get any loot from him. So there's our map. There's our quest journal. So I have to report to this guy. He has an important mission for us. Now I have to travel to the village and warn the veteran guards of the attack. Of course we, we didn't get the quest because we were talking to our guy. So I have to kill this guy. And the game is pretty dated from 2001. But it does have a fair amount of graphical options.
Alright, let's get our quest. Following the road north of the tower. So I guess this is the road north of the tower. Veteran guard. There he is. So he wants us to buy a cloak. So see all the colors you would buy dyes for. So you, in order to dye things you actually had to buy dyes to dye the color. Magical item. And I always wore a long hooded cloak. And you can buy crafting items. This does have a fairly cool crafting setup. They have enhancers. So you can uh, buff your character up for free to get started. We have no quests. Some vault keeper so you can look at what you have in the uh, can't remember if you click yeah okay here's your storage vault it's just got your items your items are a list and apparently we have some really serious weapons somehow which is cool Standard movement controls, WASD. So this should be pretty comfortable for anybody. But I'm not as familiar with this area as I am with the main one, so let's head back. Horse master. Stable master, old man. And we do have stealth as a hunter, so we can hide. Which slows our movement speed until we gain some skill in it. But I do not remember there being this much of a tutorial when I started playing. But this is where we started. I don't remember where the teleporter dude was. There's guards. Skulls, Berserkers, Shadow Blades. Commander. I'm 
showing you the different classes and what they do. Some uh, Lynx Cubs. Apparently being attacked by a boar. Now we're level four. I don't remember how we loot. Or even if we do. I think this guy had something to say about teleporter. Capital teleporters. Jordheim. I think we want to go to Jordheim. Trying to remember. I think that's where I usually started. Wow, it has been some years since I have been in this position. Oh, I got some equipment. Is there another teleporter dude? Guild stuff. No, I think we want to be in Milarn. I do think we're in the wrong area. This looks more familiar. Yes, it does. Yep, there's Darkness Falls. Jordheim is down here. Milarn is over there. I think the housing area was over here. Tom T. Camp. Boy, this brings back memories. Ah. 
All right, let's see if we remember some stuff. All right, so got some testing merchants out here. All right, now I remember. Where is the road? Here's the road. Alright, things seem to be working pretty well. Ah, uh, out of endurance. Skeletons. Wow, this brings back memories. Things I have not ever thought I would see again. So as you can see, it's a pretty dark, bleak world. Meandering spirits. Vendo Guardian. Rand has a quest for us at some point. Mularn. Forgot about those darn ants. Everything seems to be working properly with no problems. From what I understand, everything has been completed. silver to take the horse. Alright. Fair enough. I do remember horses being very expensive at low levels. Rune Master Trainer. Va 
Valkyrie, Berserker, Thane, Merchant Level 1, Rogue, Mystic. I don't remember the trainers being here. I also don't remember. So basically your goal in this game is to get to max level and participate in RVR. RVR VR. It's a lot of R's. Pretty sure this guy has a quest for us. Oh there, Midgard Rogue. Have you gotten tired of playing the same game over and over again? That's what I like. That's what it's like here. All the adults uh, say we can do is sit here and play Truth or Dare. Sure, it was fun at first, but most of us got bored and Raymond's too chicken to do any of the dares. I think of for him. It was a lot more fun when we could play Spin the Elixir in the tavern basement with the girls, but Tiff's parents caught us there and we've been treated like babies ever since. I bet this game would have be a whole lot more fun if you could join us. I'd even kick Raymond out and think up the bestest dare ever just for you. Hmm, give me a minute. I know just the thing. The guards keep talking about a big scary statue in the demon dungeon just beyond the limits of town. I dare you to go in and touch it and come back without getting eaten by a monster. What do you say? Great, we'll wait here. Well, you go do it. See, Raymond, not everyone's a big chicken like you, chicken. Northeast. So we're going... Oh, you got something for me too. Black bears. All right, so we're going northeast. We'll probably see some black bears along the way. Level 50 merchant. And like I said, this is just a testing server. So a lot of the Things in here are not exactly as they would be. Reminds me of DF. Be better if that fairy didn't keep jumping out at me. I do have my key. I do need to register it. Alright, this is where it gets tricky. Because if we drop down here, we're going to have to go all the way through. Demon's Breach? Yeah, Demon's Breach. So we're not in the RVR zone. Which is fine with me. We're not doing so hot. Too hot. 
two on one, I guess. I'm guessing it's down here. Well, we don't have a map for this place. So I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we're gonna die. to wait for the release timer, I think. Too bad, we almost made it back to the easy ones. Anyway, so give me a minute to talk about the game itself. So, like I said before, Dark Age of Camelot started out in 2001, in late 2001. And I played this when it came out. And it was one of the most creative games in a lot of different ways. It pitted three realms against each other. So you had Albion, Midgard, and Hibernia, which is basically Britain, Norse, and uh, not sure where Hibernia was, but it's like fairy realm where you would um, fight against the other two realms to maintain keeps in a... So here's our frontier, and who holds what keeps and what towers. There's the Hiberian one, there's the Albion one. And you can see what bonuses you get. Uh, right now, Darkness Falls, this goes to Hibernia. And we have no strength relics and no power relics. But we have seven keeps, I guess. So we get some realm point bonuses and some other bonuses, which is cool. So they had this whole bonus system based on what you... Um, Basically based on what you controlled, got you got you different things, different bonuses, different different advantages in the game. So you get more points and more more everything to make things easier for yourself when you played. Oh. Tibernia is Irish. I forgot. Okay. Now I remember. So now we've died. And I think if we were a higher level we would actually be suffering a debuff because we got killed by the environment. But hey, we're too young level, so we don't lose any experience, I don't think. Made it back alive. I mean, uh, welcome back. How was the statue? Did you get scared? Does this mean you're going to stay and play the game with us again? If you are, you can have these. I don't need them anymore. So we got 10 experience points and 67 copper. 
And as you can see, 10 experience points didn't do much for us. Pretty sure something just locked up. What are we even playing? No, about half an hour. Okay, so the goal in this game is really to make it to level 5, and then you can start training in your class. Um, hopefully the game will eventually let me out so I can sign back in and show you what's going on. But it uses slots in the quick bar. You have slots over here. I'm going to have to end this and go back in. Which sucks. Alright, so the, any, on a regular server there's a number of guilds you would want to join. Uh, this game is very heavily guild based. So you want to join up with people to play. It's very hard to play this game solo. Especially when you get into RVR. Yeah, we just crashed. That's probably my fault more than the games. So just, uh, what are you looking at? Nothing? Let me, um, let me fire it back up. So I want to go over the menu. Hopefully this picks up. And it really could be the uh, recording software interfering with the game, game's DLL files. All right, now that's totally screwed. You rebalance the window. I hate doing this on the fly, but if I stop recording, we're going to be here a while. All right, that changed a lot. So that's the best we're going to get for now. But if you go through, here is your login screen, and you're looking at your character. You can quit. You can choose a new realm. Options. You can customize. I don't know what you can customize. Oh, your appearance and stuff. But I'm pretty happy with our dude, so we're going to cancel. You delete him. You can go through your options, and we've got... Windowed mode would probably would have worked better for me. And I didn't change any of the modes. All I did is turn music and ambient music off because it was, it was becoming actually very hard. But there's there's a lot of things you can do. Keyboard customization. You can either move forward with the left or right mouse. W, S moves backwards or down. It's very versatile in what keys you can use. A and D are left and right. You can set a toggle, strafe toggle. Straight left is Q and E. Uh, it's very handy if you're uh, an assassin type character. You can jump. You can s get down, sit down, walk instead of run. Look up, look down, reset the camera, camera pan, uh, mouse look with the right mouse, camera pan with the left mouse. You hold it and just turn it. Uh, run lock is num key. So these are all things you can set. And this was the important key that we were missing is toggling back into our range weapon and toggling back into our right hand weapon. So you actually have to switch your weapons if you have a ranged weapon and then switch back to a one handed weapon by using the comma and the B. So this game does have a lot of depth that you can do with it. But we're done with that.
We're going to cancel it. And we're going to go back in because I'm going to show you some of the menu. And this always happens when I. Come on. Give me a display. Gonna be difficult, huh? screen might flash. Let's see if it comes back up real quick. Because all I see is a black screen right now. That's not working. Okay, I do believe that it's the recording software tying into the game DLL file that's kind of screwed up recording. Sadly, it is uh, really a shame, actually. But you get the general idea of it. Okay, cool. So the um, server itself, if you get trapped, you can move your you can move your character to the bind point by the web page. So if you get stuck, they've actually made a provision to get you out of situations. Anyway, even though the screen is black and you can't see anything, I do hope you enjoyed this visit to classic Dark Age of Camelot. I certainly enjoyed playing. Uh, like I said, if you have not played in as long as I have, which is significant, you're probably going to want to um, to start out on this server or another server without a huge population so that you can remember how to play, get your template a little bit up. You don't have to go all the way to 50, but getting familiar with the commands would be a pretty good idea before jumping back into playing the game. Uh, if you want to see more of this, I would definitely be happy to play it for you. And I, like I said, I enjoyed my time in Dark Age of Camelot immensely. And this really takes me back. It's a different kind of game. So, something to keep in mind. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little visit. Uh, like I said, if you want to know more, we can actually get on a more populated server. We can play a little more. Now that I've refreshed my memory on how the game works, uh, it probably will work out a lot better. But I apologize for the black screen, but with the recording software probably crashing the client with its hook that it makes into recording it, uh, I try to record the game window. 
and I probably should have just recorded the monitor uh, on this one because with such an old DLL that it has to get through I'm not sure that OBS can handle not interfering with it and I, that's probably what happened it probably did a graphics call and OBS got in the way so uh, no fault to the emulator everything is working flawlessly as far as I can see it's just unfortunately when we went to turn the game actually lost the ability to display in the uh, graphics in the in the uh, recording software so uh, don't hold it against the emulator for that uh, anyway if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them uh, playing it even this long has brought back a lot of memories and a lot of things that I remembered from before so like I said if you have questions anything you want to tell you about the game I definitely welcome comments uh, I loved my time in this game and I, I think if you are looking for a really cool free shard to play on uh, playing on this one or playing on Uthgard you're probably not going to lose either way but they have a lot of scripted quests, a lot of things to do. Um, this game has never been about the basic game starting out. Uh, until the expansions came out and the expansions actually had stories, pretty much this game was PvP and RVR, getting to 50, getting in the middle of it, and, and just building your realm ranks, and that was, that was the game. There was a story, but eh, it wasn't much. And like I said, this was from 2001. Uh, the reason we did this one, even though the game still exists, is because this game itself doesn't exist anymore. Uh, this version of it is gone. But this is the classic version before they put in artifacts, before they put in all the other stuff. Just so much cleaner of a game, so much better interface. But I'm going to end this now. Uh, like I said, just enjoy what you saw, and I apologize for losing the picture, but uh, I think you guys got a good sense that it is ex pretty much exactly the game it used to be with some additions, and some of those additions are pretty cool that they've added in, so definitely worth your time. Uh, anyway, I will catch you guys next time, and take it easy. You guys have a nice night, and I'll see you later.